Hi guys, welcome back to our Microsoft Excel tutorial. Guys, now you will talk about how to use the concatenate or what is the use of the concatenate or simply how to put a multiple column into a one column or a multiple row in one row or in general, let's say a multiple cell to put it into a one cell. So let's start. <laughs> See, we have employee number, employee name, join date, and location. So here, for example, you want to put the employee number along with the location. So you will know if this employee number is belong to which location. So simply you will put equal concatenate. The need. So you can simply write it completely or just double click the suggested one. And then you will highlight the cell that you want to be con to be concatenated is comma and then the other one and enter. Chan. So you see from two column it's become one column. So it's not only two. You can put all together. See concatenate. Open parentheses. You can click this comma. Click this comma. Click column C, comma, click this, close bracket, enter. So it will be 1001, Geraldine, for Geraldine C. Then my date is become a general and Dubai. So it will be like this. This is actually one way of how to do it. It's just like I can just put here, it will be like concatenate formula. Concatenate. Or... Another way is using the end, like using end from your keyboard means equal employee, employee number and location. It will be the same result. Equals this and this and this and sorry and this. Enter. So it's the same result, guys. So here is your formula is equal your text one and text two and so on. So you will see, guys, we have two formula but have the same result. So, guys, what is the depend of these two? Actually, just the same. But the thing is, if you're going to use and it will give you more option like for example I want to put some space in between so I can put equal employee number and I want to put extra character in between so we'll put it inside of the quotation so open code space open code and to buy so, now I got a space in between so here, what my formula is, equal text, your first text, and code, space, code, and your second text that you want to put. So you put your uh, text to, that you want to combine. Oh, this is text two. Many things, like for example, I want to put in between some character like hyphen, so I can just put equals, employee number, and code, hyphen, code, and Abu Dhabi. Enter. So see, there is inside. So this is exactly the same of this. The same of what you've done earlier, but the thing is, inside you put the hyphen. So that is the difference. Now, if you see it, see, my, my hyphen are not visible. So I want to put some space in between. You can do it. Just equals 
employee number and space and open code space hyphen space close code and text to Sharon. So now you put the spacing in between. I'm just putting the formula here, guys, so it will be easy for you to understand what is the difference of each of this. So I'm just giving a space here. So that is a different. So you, and then what else I can do? Many things. For example, I want to put the surname of all of this, which is I missed to put. Then I will just simply come to this one, equal, for example, Roselle. And what is the surname, for example, Sevilla, close. But I'm going to put a space in between, so there will be a space. Charan or equals this and code jumal space. That's it. I just make a formula equal your text one and whatever the variable or vari whatever the value that you want to write inside. You can write it so similarly here. Whatever the value or the text that you want to clap together, you just simply put a end, end sign, and they will be clapped together. Okay? So that's it, guys. This is the way how to use the concatenate, or this is the way how we can clap two texts in one in one cell or multiple cells into a one cell. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.